the European Union gave 100 million euros for France to do this Olympics. So they took your, your tax money. money. They took your money. Your tax to do this. money. If you do a search on TikTok right now, you're not going to be able to find this video very much. There is a couple of people that have this video. And if they do have him on there and they're censoring him, then that means they censor certain things he said. This doesn't sound like something that should be muted when he's just saying, hey, you guys got to stick up for yourselves. God family country, welcome back. Oof, two strikes from TikTok. One day. Got a warning, a strike, and another strike. All in one day. Based on, allegedly, hate speech. But we're going to get into that. Because it's Christianity, the new hate speech? I don't know. First, let's start this off with a prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Really stuck out to me today is deliver us from the evil one. When I go, I love that Jesus gave us that verse because different parts of that verse will come more to life than other parts, depending on where I'm at in my life. Now, do I have other prayers that I say? Yes, but this is my go-to prayer. This is the prayer. This is the prayer that the apostles asked them, hey, how should we pray then? And he said, pray like this. He started with the Our Father. That's the prayer that I go to. That's the prayer I like. And let's get into this. I'm going to show you the exact video I posted on TikTok that got me a warning and a strike. Let's go. Let's go to this first video and let's play it here in its entirety. There has to be a point you stand up for your beliefs. If you have something in life and you don't stand up for it, it will not last. If you have a house, you don't maintain it, it will fall down. Business, you don't work, it's gone. Relationship, you don't take care of her, she'll leave you. It's the same with religion. If you Christians don't start standing up for things, when they mock you publicly and openly, you'll have no religion left. If there has to be a point you stand up for your beliefs. If you have something in life... Again, so this was the first one I got a warning for. They actually switched. I didn't know that they could do this. Imagine being charged for something, and then you send an appeal, and then they close that account and charge you with a different crime. Pretty much what happened which was another weird thing about TikTok where they have this kind of like sliding, I need to be able to pin you into a corner type of censorship thing. Don't know if it's a human, an algorithm, a bot, both, but it's been, it, it's been really, really weird that this video right now on TikTok is pretty much not searchable. Let me see if I can search TikTok with... If you do a search on TikTok right now, you're not going to be able to find this video very much. There is a couple of people that have this video that I have seen and I've commented underneath and said, Hey, how did you get this video up? One guy took pictures and showed. So this video is being censored and it's really interesting, especially on the heels of, uh, you know, Elon Musk talking about uh, censorship happening all over and there is different types of censorship so i'm just wondering why are they choosing why are they choosing to censor the videos that i've done let's move on to the second one i kind of want to stay on topic here's the last video that i did make sure that you guys can see it here's the last video and it's got the uh of course i've put the subtitles on there I like to put the subtitles on there because maybe somebody's in a, when you're watching a short, you might be in a place where you can't play something loud. Listen, there may be people uh, who may not hear as well. And they're looking at maybe possibly lip reading. You can't lip read when I'm just showing you pictures. So putting this on there helps them as well. So let's, let's watch this video and see why I got my first strike. This is how I got my first strike on TikTok. 100 million euros for France to do this Olympics. So they took your, your tax money, money, took your money, your to tax money, and they're making fun of, of Jesus Christ. I believe you're most of you are Christians. I'm a Muslim. Yes, this is Romania. It's supposed to be the most Christian country in Europe. You cannot allow them to desecrate something as important as the Last Supper. The European Union. 
And that's it. I didn't have any background music to these, but I put the background music on God Family Country YouTube Shorts. Here's the thing. What what hate did I violate? They're not talking about anybody. They're saying, hey, the European Union government, governmental, this union gave France this many euros and they're using that money and with that money they're disrespecting your faith and they're they, they're not saying hey you need to go out and hurt somebody you need to harm somebody uh, we need to uh, hurt other groups or say bad things about other groups they're talking Tr tristan uh i think, believe his name tristan tate is a christian his brother is a muslim tristan is saying hey i'm a i'm a christian I'm not here to judge the guy. If you guys are in the comments, like, this guy's not a Christian. Look, bro, great on you. That's a good job. If that's what you're doing, I, I hope it works out for you. Uh, I saw these clips, and I pretty much just repurposed them. Uh, I, I haven't even seen every single clip they've made. But I know that these clips, they made sense and spoke to me. So I said, hey, I'm going to put these back out there. Uh, this, this makes sense. Um, this is, we do need to come together as Christians. We're always, the reason why we always get kind of stepped on and, and kicked around is because there's this false belief that, um, by us being silent, we're, we're, we're standing up for our faith and, you know, just a simple saying, Hey, we're, we don't believe in this and exercising our rights. Just like if we were going to help somebody, um, if we were just going to stay and pray for them and hope that that person is well versus like us taking an action, it is within our right and within our resources to help somebody and we help somebody. It's the same thing as defending our faith. So saying, hey, look like um, this, we're calling this out saying, hey, this is this is against what we believe in and, and we're not for it. Some people feel that that's a waste of time because the world is the world. I believe the world is the world, but I believe that at the end of the day, we need to stand up for our faith. Let's move on. Here's what I wanted to add to this. People trying to cancel Andrew Tate won't show you this video of him defending Jesus Christ. Okay, I thought they knew that their video was being canceled. I'm not sure about the cancellation of Andrew Tate. I do know that there must be some sort of issue with canceling him, but there must be an issue with canceling his brother as well because... One of the videos that I had was this European Union gave 10 uh, million euros for France. That's Tristan Tate. He gave 100 million euros for France million, to do this sorry. Olympics. So they took your, your tax money, money, took your money, your tax money and they're making fun of, of Jesus Christ. I believe you're most of you. Yeah, so it looks like there's a mixture there. That's what we're dealing with. So I, I'm like, there's no way that I got all these, these dings. What's, what's going on? So I'm looking up their free expression because I see TikTok is in a ban right now and they're crying the same thing I'm crying right now is that, hey, you're trying to censor me. And their, their fight was, you guys are trying to censor Americans, which is really hypocritical because I'm an American and I'm being censored. I don't have free expression um, uh, on their platform. And I've known that for a long time. So this thing that Elon Musk is talking about and kind of started um, and kind of the censorship that Elon Musk has exposed online is very real and you can see it and it exists. So we're looking at enable free expression. The creativity and lock by expression is what powers our vibrant community. We honor this principle, providing an opportunity to share freely on our platform cap while also proactively addressing behavior that can inhibit speech of others cap however free expression is not an absolute right is always considered in proportion to its potential harm so let's see is there a potential harm by me showing a video of christians saying hey they need to stick up stand up for themselves one could argue like if you were really good at arguments and you really wanted to look at the algorithms one could say um that there is a potential side effect of anything negatively having a negative side effect that is you know 
philosophy, psychology, economics 101, there's always this unintended side effect. Everybody knows that. The reason why I think like sometimes that type of language gets dangerous is because that's just, you can really insert these gauges that can slide all over the place and allow you to censor people. Um, but I understand somebody who has a good heart um, on what that means. I don't, just based on my dealings with them personally, I don't believe that that's um, true. So potential harm and does not extend to having your content recommended is always considered in proportion to its potential harm and does not extend to having your content recommended in the for use feed. So here it is. I don't think that they enable free expression. I think that they're anti-free expression. I think a lot of platforms are anti-free expression. I've seen what free expression looks like, and it's usually on X. And that's usually where you're going to get the best. Um, I see Instagram, uh, you know, and really a lot of times the censorship is just, then we'll show your videos. And and there's ways if you're really good at understanding metrics, and I'm, I know I'm not talking to a bunch of people who make videos. So, like, let me give you the breakdown. Like, metrics will have a certain thing where how many times it's shown in a feed, what the click-through rate is, who swiped away, who swiped forward. And you can kind of see, hey, I didn't make a good thumbnail. But then sometimes you can see the thumbnails there, the words are there. And maybe you could argue like, yeah, but you got it wrong. You just thought it was. But you can kind of start seeing a trend on when things aren't, sometimes when things are too true and there's too much receipt. Well, it absolutely doesn't get shown, kind of. So these are the things that we as Christian content creators deal with on a daily basis. I deal with on a daily basis. And the censorship does affect what I get to put out and what I get to say. I, I can't, as a brand new channel and a channel, I, I can sit here and say whatever I want to say, but my channel will get one view. And even if it's not hateful, it's not hurting anybody, but I'm just... Uh, relentlessly bringing you the gospel and uh, throwing all current news into that filter, it won't, it won't come off the floor. It, it just won't. And, and that's the truth. And, and most content creators that are Christian know that. And so there's certain things they will let go off the floor and blow up, but there's certain things that they won't. And, you can kind of see for yourself if you go on the X platform, look at Christianity, and then you go on the other platforms, you can kind of see for yourself what is allowed uh, under the guise of Christianity and what isn't, right? So, your Christian content. Would you call it Christian content? Christian opinion. Let's, let's go there, right? Because we're searching for the right word. You see, they've updated their hate speech and behavior. So what is hate speech? Hate speech and hateful behavior includes attacking, threatening, dehumanizing, or degrading an individual or group based on their protected attributes. So I feel like TikTok has hateful behavior towards me and my Christianity in this case, because I saw the last supper of the Olympics and they let us put up on there and people are saying all types of crazy stuff on both sides. But here I put somebody on here that's saying, Hey, stick up for yourself. And I was like, maybe it's Andrew Tate and uh, his brother Tristan that are, they're not allowed on the platform. But if you search on the TikTok platform, they're all over there. So that's not true. And it's not like the videos are dated. There's brand new videos of them on there. So obviously it's not a group or an individual because they wouldn't have them on there. And if they do have them on there and they're censoring him, then that means they censor certain things. He said, this doesn't sound like something that should be muted when he's just saying, hey, you guys got to stick up for yourselves. Christians, you got to stick up for yourself. So protected ad means personal characteristics that you are either born with or immutable, or it would cause severe psychological harm if you were forced to change them or were attacked because of them. These include race, ethnicity, national origin, religion, cap, uh, because they won't let us, we're not allowed to, again, 
sorry, but I, I just, what they're saying does not make sense. Religion, tribe, case, sexual orientation, sex, gender, gender identity, serious disease, disability, and immigration status. That is now a protected class. Didn't know that. So that's going to help. What this helps what this helps kind of filter out is you're able to kind of you are able at this point with this rule for hate speech to just kind of cast out anybody that you don't agree with. I don't disagree with a lot of 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 what they're saying. I don't think anybody should be picked on or hated for any of this. I think even if we have different beliefs that we're both allowed to have those beliefs because God gave us an independent mind. He didn't make us a slave and he doesn't force us to worship him or follow his ways. Finish this up. Degrading protected attributes of an individual group or group is considered bullying or harassment. So I don't feel that video content that I I proposed was, was showing this. But anyways, I can't make this an hour long video for you uh, based upon what they're saying. We're just kind of going over this. Hate speech has no place on TikTok. We do not allow hate speech and hateful ideologies and will not recommend content that contains negative stereotypes about a person group with a protected attribute. Use a combination of technology and human moderation. We use a combination of technology and human moderators to detect and remove accounts and content to break our rules. I don't agree. I don't believe that because I watch people slam Christianity all day long on there, which that's fine if that's your right. I'm just saying keep that same energy. Here we have Christianity, not, you know, some a conversation surrounding Christianity that's not even slamming another group and it's not allowed on TikTok. I can go on TikTok right now and watch them slam Christians 